Hi, Steve Walker here, and I'd like to show today a very quick demonstration of a new capability that's been released in Adobe Sign's new March 2021 release, and that is the ability to add multiple signers to a web form. Some signers of which may not be known to the person who initiated or created the web form itself. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's jump over to the laptop now, and I can show you very quickly what I had in mind. I have a PDF that I am going to use for today's demonstration. And the use case that we have on this PDF is that we would like to have someone fill in a timesheet. They are temping uh, with a company and they would like to be able to get paid, of course, for the week in which that they have worked. So filling in the timesheet, scrolling down to the bottom here, they're gonna be signing on the left-hand side, but they're going to designate to the web form who the next person, the next signer in the flow should be. In this case, it is their supervisor. Um, they need to sign the document on the right-hand side. And we can do that using a multi-signer web form. Let's switch over to Adobe Sign now. And on the home screen, I am gonna choose Publish a Web Form. Clicking on that looks very similar to what we had previously. So let's, uh, let's add in the document now. I'm gonna add that PDF in. I'm going to call the web form timesheet. The person who's going to initiate the process, the person who visits the timesheet and fills it out is going to be a just a regular signer and we're not going to require any authentication on them either. But the new capability is here. You see the blue link where we can add an additional participant. If I click on that now, you'll see that we get the option to add as many additional participants that are required up to the maximum of Adobe Sign's 25 signer limit. I will close out some of these now. We only need the one additional signer in this case. And this of course is going to be our supervisor, so our line manager in this case. So let's enter in some instructions here. We're gonna call this person the line manager. I've done that by clicking the little book icon here on the right. And the role that this person's gonna be playing is approving. Now notice there's no space to enter in the email address here because this person has a variable in our, in our flow. We're gonna be asked to enter in the email address um, when we've completed the timesheet of who this line manager may be. So it can be someone different every time. Then what we'll have is Global Corp is the uh, recruitment agency in this case. They would like to eyeball every one of these timesheets, of course, because they're responsible for releasing the funds. We can hard code, as we did previously in Adobe Sign, a standard counter signer. So we're going to have a uh, timesheet approval email address at globalcorp.com. They will be final approval on every single timesheet. Okay, everything looks good. Uh, I won't preview it because you saw in, in Acrobat that I have already added fields on the PDF. That is not necessary in this case. I've done that all offline. So I'm trusting everything's okay. And I'm just gonna hit create now. Great, what we get on the left-hand side, of course, is the URL that we can visit. And on the right-hand side, we can grab some iframe embed code if you wanted to actually bake this timesheet directly into your website, That's, uh, that is possible. Let's open up this URL and I'll show you what it looks like as the employee to go through and fill out this timesheet now. So this is what it looks like. We're going to enter in some details for me. I'll be the employee this time and I've worked um, a, a very tough week here at Adobe. So I'm just going to enter in some details now. And now I'm going to enter in the details of the hours that I've worked this week. Okay, and you can see it's adding up my total here. I've worked a total of 35 hours of, of, uh, of, of billable time this week. And I'm gonna scroll down and uh, everything looks good. I'm gonna click to sign in the standard Adobe Sign way. Just type my name there, press apply. Okay, I'm gonna to click to sign now, but you'll see the new capability kicking in now. We're going to assign who the next participant is in this flow. So you'll see participant two has been labeled the line manager here. So I'm gonna enter in that person's name, and that is of course Jane Taylor. 
she is my line manager. And if I enter in her details now, I can also add a message. You can see I've got that option there. So I'm going to ask her to please approve my timesheet. If I click to sign, that brings this process now to completion. So as an employee, I'm done. Let's jump over now and see what Jane Taylor sees in her email inbox. She will be giving her approval as my line manager on the timesheet. Okay, you can see Jane has an email from me. Approval has been requested on the timesheet. Let's click on that. Steve Walker has requested your approval. Let's go through and uh, we can review this process. All my details are on there looking fab. You can see the hard work that I've done this week. My signature's on the left. Jane is happy to approve on this occasion. And we're going to click to sign. Uh, this time I tell you what I'll do, I shall scribble Jane's initials here using the trackpad on this laptop. Clicking on click to approve will bring the process certainly from Adobe Sides to completion. There is that final counter signature taking place afterwards for Global Corp so that they can pass this off to the payroll team to release the funds. So that was a very quick demonstration showing the multi-signer web form capability, brand new in Adobe Sign's March 2021 release. Now I suggest if you don't already have an Adobe Sign account, sign up for a free trial, see how easy it is to get up and running, sending documents for electronic signature using Adobe Sign. You can find the link down in the description below to sign up for that. But thank you very much for watching. See you next time, bye-bye.